Hi guys, it's April. Uh, today I'm going to give you just a real quick mini lesson on the difference between liberals and conservatives. And if this makes you a little bit sad, that's okay, because really what this means is that now you're going to understand that there are more ways to describe or uh, more ways to identify Democrats and Republicans in our nation. So yeah, let's get started. So we have more names for Demo Democrats and Republicans as a way for us to describe the values that each party stands for. So right now, when, when you tell somebody, oh, I'm a Democrat or oh, I'm a Republican, the very first thing that they think is, oh, well, you support or you don't support, uh, let's say, uh, women's rights, or you do support or you do not support abortion, or I do support or I do not support the war on drugs. So people automatically go to the issues. Uh, the reason that we call Democrats uh, leftists or Republicans rightist is because that also describes uh, what they value. Uh, so we have these other ways to describe them uh, as a way uh, for us to, to describe the attributes or to give feelings and meanings to other words. Uh, so really in this case what we're saying is that when we call Democrats uh, liberals, or leftist leaning people were giving meaning to what they value. And when we call Republicans uh, conservatives or right leaning people, we're giving a value and meaning to, to what that stands for. So let's kind of dive in to understand um, why we call Democrats liberals and why we call uh, conser Republicans conservative. So a Democrat is usually someone who is liberal in their thinking or they have left-leaning policies. So if you are liberal or if you support a liberal party, it means that you're in favor of progress or reform, especially when it comes to political or religious affairs. Uh, you uh, support a progressive political party, so uh, you're always seeking out change or you're trying to make change. Um, you are advocating liberalism. And really what that means is uh, you are advocating the freedom of the individual and government to guarantee individual rights and liberties. You want maximum individual freedoms. You want government protection and civil liberties. You are favoring uh, freedom in action, freedom in personal beliefs or expression, and that you um, are free from prejudice or, bigotor, or uh, bigotry. You, you tend to be very tolerant of other people, other beliefs, other, other ways. Um, really, if you, if you are liberal, if you are leftist, you, you believe in the common good. You believe that everyone is created equal and that everyone is you know, a good person and that you're trying to do things for the better of everyone, not just the betterment of a single person or a single family or a single company. Um, they're referred to as, as liberals. Uh, so Republicans are, con are referred to as conservative or they're very right uh, right in their thinking, right as in a direction in their thinking. Um, conservatives believe in the past. They believe in tradition. They believe in, in restoring what was once created. They're very cautious or moderate in, in changing things. They're very traditional in their style or manner. They avoid, uh, as it says here, novelty or showiness. So they avoid the, the new and the flashy. Uh, they, they believe in sticking with with what has been true and what has always been true and what historically has been true. Um, they, they want to conserve what's there. They want to protect what's already been created. They want to preserve what has already been done. Um, they support not changing things. So that's why uh, Republicans or conservatives very much refer to the constitution. That is our founding document. That is a perfect document. And they feel that they must uphold what's in that document. Uh, it goes back to that um, that traditional value, right? If if the founding fathers wrote it, it must be perfect, and, and that's what we need to base it on. Um, conservatives believe that, that that is the perfect model, and for our nation to function, we must follow that model. Whereas liberals believe that well, that document was written correct, but it's a document of reform, and that as times change, as society changes, as opinion changes, the document must flex to meet the new needs. So that's why you have uh, liberals and conservatives constantly fighting or constantly discussing the meaning of words in the Constitution or the meaning of words in the Bill of Rights. The Second Amendment is a perfect example of that. The Second Amendment talks about it's the right to bear arms. 
And uh, the debate now is, uh, you know, the Second Amendment really talks about how, you know, you have the right to own a weapon if you are in or a part of a well-regulated militia. Uh, liberals believe that that should be taken literally. Militias are illegal now. We don't have a militia. So therefore, no one has the right to own a gun. Conservatives read it a different way. And they say, no, that's not what it says. It says that in order for people to protect themselves and protect their property, they have to own weapons. They're, they're a part of their own individual militia. So conservatives are going right to the language, whereas liberals are looking at that language and saying, no, this actually means this now. So that's an overall general uh, d description of the differences between liberals, leftists, or conservative right thinkers. So how did we even get to this point? Why are Democrats uh, and liberals referred to as left? And why are Republicans and conservatives referred to as right? Well, it turns out um, it's actually a historical reference. Uh, so during the French Revolution, which it says right here, 1789 to 1799, uh, the people of France revolted against their king and queen, which is referred to as a monarchy. Monarch monarchies typically are... Um, very repressive to the general people. They don't take into account the people's needs or wishes. They just rule as they see fit. So if the king wants something to happen, he says so, and then it is so, and everybody has to follow it. Uh, well, a majority of the French people revolted against this system, and they ultimately threw the king and queen out of power, and they actually ended up murdering them uh, in uh, 1799. But Besides all that, uh, so I found this little piece on Wikipedia, and I think it sums it up really perfectly. Uh, so it says, the political terms left and right were coined during the French Revolution, referring to the seating arrangement in the Estates General. And the Estates General is just the French version of our Congress. So those who sat on the left generally opposed the monarchy and supported the revolution. So they did not support the king and queen. They wanted a revolution. They wanted the creation of a, of a republic and secularization. So basically they wanted a government like what we have today, where the people elect people uh, to represent them, and then those representatives have to do what the people want. It goes on to say, while those on the right were supportive of the traditional institutions of the old regime. So if you sat on the left, you did not support the king and queen, and if you sat on the right, you supported the king and queen. So that's kind of where this left and right comes from. And we've actually carried that over uh, today. If you sit on the left in Congress, you are a Democrat. And if you sit on the right of Congress, you are a Republican. So now that you kind of know the difference between liberals and conservatives, uh, you know why Democrats are called liberals or left-leaning thinkers, and you understand why Republicans are called conservatives and right-leaning thinkers, where would you sit? Would you be on the left or would you be on the right? So here's a picture of Congress uh, here in the United States. And as you can see, it is clearly divided. And it is divided for a purpose because the Democrats and the Republicans do sit on the left or the right. So I hope this presentation helped you understand better why Democrats and Republicans are called liberals or conservatives. Thanks for watching.